Paulino Brenner also asks, what are your top five web-based productivity applications and suites? That's an excellent question. Top five web-based productivity applications and suites. Let me tell you how I survive on the Internet. Okay, and that's an excellent question. Um, I do all of my work on the cloud. Okay, so I could not live without WordPress. WordPress is my website platform. It is an amazing, powerful tool. If you're into blogging, if you're into website development, if you're into anything related to managing or controlling your entire web presence, you have to have WordPress. And if I did not have WordPress, which is a web app, is web application, I would not be able to get my website nearly as structured or powerful as it is as a single individual trying to make this entire business work. My second favorite would probably be Gmail. And I love Gmail. I love the sophistication of it. I love the power of it. Uh, the organizational aspect of it got a little fuzzy when they released this whole tab-based format where you had the social tab and you had the, the, the primary inbox tab and then you had the other tab. But to be honest with you, I love Gmail for the basic reason that the spam filter works and the second main reason is that I can create my own filters very easily just by typing a search into the search bar, bottom corner, create filters like these, and I'm able to filter through all my emails. I get probably 200 spam a day now, um, but all of that junk that gets managed, it just gets filtered out for me, and I have to really siphon only through a handful of bad emails a day. Couldn't do what I do without Gmail. It saves my life more times than I can count. Uh, my third favorite, of course, is Google Drive. If you haven't looked into Google Drive, Google Drive is a lot more than just an online storage utility. Uh, it does do that, but there are a bunch of uh, offline applications you can get. In other words, not I wouldn't say they're offline, but syncing applications. Um, if you get the Google Drive sync for your PC, I do everything cross-platform. I have, I have a PC here. I have a PC at work. I have a Chromebook. I have an iPhone. And I also had an iPad, but I got rid of it for my Chromebook. But what was kind of great is with Google Drive, I was able to synchronize all of these devices together. And I have um, Google Drive Sync installed on my PC at work and at home. And it's all synced to my Chromebook. So I'm always working with the same files. I have a whole separate set of work files and, um, and uh, this Craig the Tech Teacher files. And they're always constantly synced, which means if I work on something at work, I come home and it's already synced, I can work at it at home. If I don't, can't work it here, I'm upstairs with the kids in the living room, I can pull it up and I can actually, at that time, do it uh, right in the living room and pull up the exact same files and work with them there. Uh, so that's really kind of one of the biggest things I use. Uh, one of my favorite, most recent ones for web-based application would be Pixlr. I'm a big Photoshop guy when I need to do my thumbnails and videos and stuff and any kind of edit image editing. Pixlr is a cool uh, web-based Photoshop app. It's not really a productivity suite, though. I guess you could argue that it is, um, but it's not really that necessary. And finally, I'd probably throw in there uh, Google Keep. And Google Keep is a basically it's Google's online to-do list, and I'm a fan of lists because I have a lot of things going on at the same time, and it's one of my favorite things to kind of do because... I have a running list for this show. I have a running list for the Craig and Chris show, which you guys can check out our new channel, craigandchris.com, which is the more laid-back, fun, we're going to play video games, talk about video games and technology show. And uh, then I also have the work, work, my real-life job. So um, I, have, I have to keep organized all the time. So lots of stuff going on. Uh, excellent question, Paulino. Thank you. Thank you for the question.